welcome back to the Glory Glory Man United save and a new season and boy have we got some transfers some of them or maybe one of them you may not like but uh, let's get on with the outs first first off we'll go with the cash transfers because uh, <laughs> they bring money in <laughs> believe it or not but uh, the first one Dean Henderson goalkeeper not going to use uh, just want to further his career. He was out on loan at Burnley. He's finally gone to Burnley for 325,000. Uh, he did play for Shrewsbury, considered quite a lot of goals. There's not much we really can do with that, but uh, it's cheap and he's gone. Next one is Andres Pereira. Now, I wasn't sure whether to get rid of him or not, really. He played quite well. He did stand in on the left hand side when uh, we had a few injured players. But he's now gone to Monaco, I think it is. Uh, for eight and a half million. That fee is due to rise to about ten and a half due to add-ons and what have you. Next chap, Eric Durham. Yes, we only got him last season. <laughs> and to be honest, he wasn't very good, was he really? Let's let's be fair. We got him on a free. We sold him for thirteen. Uh and that figure is due to is due to rise to about seventeen million, I think it is, with some more add-ons. And he's going to play in Russia for a bit. So good luck to him. He really didn't cut it at United, to be fair. He was really wasn't that great. Jack Wilshire finally goes. He was moaning he wasn't getting any game time. He did play a few games for us last season. But his fee was around about 17 and a half, rising up to 21, I believe. Again, add-ons. But um, he really didn't feature that much. Yes, he scored a goal, a couple of assists, a couple of player matches. Ratings was quite good. But he wasn't getting enough game time. And with the amount of quality we've got in midfield, I couldn't see a place for him this season really. And we were trying to I was trying to look for another midfielder, believe it or not. But yeah, he goes for up to 21 million in the end. So again, that's not bad still considering we got him on a free as well. So we're making a little bit of money on these guys now. Phil Jones has gone as well. A defender at the back. Again, he was only sitting in when Lindelof or Bailey wasn't playing or they were injured or they were tired. So he only he only deputised for them really, but again he came to me and said he wanted to leave. He wanted a new challenge. So um, I can't really stand in his way. So we had to look delve into the market for a defender as well. So Barcelona picked him up though. That, that was that was the weird thing. His game time with us was a diminishing slowly but surely. He did play quite a bit last season. Deputised quite so he had half the games in the league at least anyway. Um, but twenty three and a half million, not the forty odd he was valued at. But um, again, we do make three and a half million on him over the however long ten years that we've had him. <laughs> so thank you, Phil, for your service. Now before we get on to the next chap, do not berate me for this. It's been a long time coming, and I have spoken about it in last season as well. But. Um, here we go. Boom. David De Gea. He has left the building. He has gone to Paris Saint-Germain. To be honest, that figure is due to rise to 92 million. It got to a point where, yes, he's had a couple of great seasons with us. Well, he's played all the way from 2011. But the last couple, but last season, quality was not there at all. He was the only player in the side that did not reach 7 rating. Even Romero got seven rating. Fortunately, they came in. I was rejecting, rejecting, especially from Real Madrid, even Bayern. Uh, but PSG, PSG came in and they had a better solid offer, even though it was round around, it was round about the 90 million mark. Um, I didn't really want to let him go for anything less, but in the end, it made sense and I did have a couple of goalkeepers that I was looking at anyway as good replacements and possibly not the one I was actually looking at have we actually got so they are the outs this one more so so moving on to the ins and we'll start off with the least costly one shall we say Gianluigi Donnarumma or Donnarumma should I say to be honest he's not that far off for De Heros if not better, and he's only 21 years old. Couldn't grumble at that. 40 million we paid for him, and he's been playing really well for AC Milan last season. 19 goals in 29, so we were looking at uh, El Black as well from Atletico, 
but they wanted stupid money. I wasn't going to be paying 90 million when we've just lost probably one of the best goalkeepers in the world for about 80 up to 90. So to get another goalkeeper with virtually almost the same stats or possibly slightly less but for half the price and he's got about seven eight years on him as well so we welcome Donnarumma I've got to say stop saying Donnarumma really but for a young goalkeeper he's six foot five it's all there if you want to stop have a look and go right ahead we pick up also Samuel Umtiti yeah Umtiti I do like that name it has to be said we pick him up from Barcelona and I think it was around about 60 million, I think it was. Uh, but with Phil Jones leaving, he goes to Barcelona. We pick on Titi going the other way. Yeah, they make a tidy profit on him, but we wanted a quality defender coming our way. And with uh, Bailey and Lindelof, Bailey possibly quality-wise, Lindelof not so. But um, Titi's 26 years old. He's going to fit straight into the team, I think. And uh, I think he'll do the job. His stats is all there. His uh, physique and his mentals are almost off the charts. His composure at the back, 18, that's going to be really good. Uh, he can. He's a ball-playing defender, so he can play the ball out. His position is really good. Uh, concentration, anticipation, so it's there. We're going to make use of him. Believe me. Next, we bring in Joshua Kimmich. So we lose Derm, but I believe we pick up somebody a lot, lot better. And this guy is from Bayern, I think it was. It was Bayern. 70 million. They make a massive profit on the guy. But um, again, look at the stats. Above sevens all the way through. Granted, not as many assists, so he's not going to be going down the wing as a lot. Mentals and physiques, we've got it all. It, even the technical stuff, so his composure is really well done. Well, his composure is great, his aggression is fantastic. Determination is there, teamwork is all there as well. And he can play as a wing back and he could go forward, up and down the line. Yes, I would have preferred him to have more uh, assists, but, but we pick him up and we pick him up from a a class team where he's been playing quite a bit so again another class player and finally another guy from Bayern we seem, seem to have read Bayern and Barcelona this year um, Renato Sanchez 22 years old in the midfield and we were looking for a midfielder I wanted a central midfielder really but I couldn't find anybody that was any good to be perfectly honest he popped up in the window he was interested to come along so why not but we did pay 75 million for him but 75 i don't think it's that bad to be fair considering what all the other players are costing or wanting um and i think he was available as well and we kind of got him last minute too so i think we've done quite a bit in the business window really got some really good players and uh because we had so much money we didn't know didn't really know who to pick to be perfectly fair so Again, mentors, mean even technical, first touch, spot on. I'm looking forward to using him, really. His balance, agility, his acceleration, his fitness is fantastic. His mentors are all there as well. So, again, and one of his player traits is he dictates the tempo. So I'm hoping he's going to have a little bit of control in there. We'll see what sort of a formation we play because we're trying two formations out this season. No, we've tried them out in the, uh, in the friendlies. But, yeah, that does really conclude our business uh tuan zibi and riley they're out on loan um and carlos magno which is another player we brought in on a free or nicky butt did or our development um manager did but yeah for a right back i think he's not that far off punching into the first team really but yeah we're going to bring take him out on loan for a year or two see how he develops and and that is basically it. So we spend hundred. So we spend two hundred and forty-five million on players. I mean, that's probably the most I've ever spent in a season, is it? Um, yeah, it is. But we do bring in one hundred and forty-four million. So a net one hundred and one. That's not bad, I don't think. Our finances 
don't look that bad. We've got 80 million still left in the bank and we're still under budget on the wages. So I think there is room for maneuver in the January window should we need it. I'm hoping not. Um, I am short of a right winger though because Dembele had a few offers coming in and I uh, didn't really want to uh, let him go. And I haven't done and he hasn't moaned about it yet. So we'll see. We played a load of friendlies as well as a community shield. So for the first three games, we played a four, two, four, three, one, two formation. Uh, and it worked quite well. Um, in fact, we played it for the first four games. So we're gonna try that away from home. And then at home, I mean, look at that, Bayern Munich. We totally and utter demolished Bayern Munich. Can you believe that? We played a 4-2-4 attacking formation. And uh, just look at that. Martial, four goals in the 90th minute. I mean, what? what? He just came on when it was 3-3 after Lukaku got us on back on level terms and Martial came on and bang, 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 bang. He totally destroyed him when he came on. So 7-3 though. I mean, that is some going. And I don't think I've ever had... A game like that especially against somebody like Bayern so I'm hoping now we meet them in the Champions League <laughs> would be nice um, we go and win the uh, Community Shield we played Bournemouth Martial Rashford with a hat trick Icardi was an Olympic duty but I think he's back now as well as a few of the others but Rashford I'm gonna I'm gonna start him I mean this was playing two up front so Maybe it could be the new star. I don't know. So what we're going to try and do, we're going to try one formation at home where we're attacking and then go with the other formation away from home. We're a little bit more narrow and a bit more compact. So today we're going to bring you just the derby game because this episode may go on for a little bit longer than expected. So with the transfers and going through them and letting you all calm down from the shock of selling De Gea. Just don't Donna room is up to it, and judging by that, it pretty much is. We're at home. We're going four two four. We're gonna have Rashford as a complete forward, and a card we're gonna bring in this time. But apart from that, everything is virtually the same. Donna is gonna come in goal. Kimmich is starting on the right back. We've got Bailey Lindelof in the middle. Although saying that, Umtiti is now fit. Um, Umtiti is gonna be my first choice. So he comes in and play alongside uh, Bailey. Alaba is on the left. We have Asensio and Herrera in midfield. Renato Sanchez, he could show his face later on in the game. Dembele, Martial, the French connection out of the wings because we not, haven't replaced them. We have got Coman ready as well somewhere. There he is. And then Icardi and Rashford up front. So we're going to try something different this season. Go two up front. Let's get this game started. It's about time. Oh! Just before I start, now because of the new uh, registration, uh, we have to have eight um, homegrown players, and I kind of sold quite a few of them, I think, <laughs> unfortunately. So I had to drag a few of the under 23s into to make it up, but that does mean um, Ramirez is not registered this season, so I tried to offload him a little bit. We had a couple of offers in, but we we're nowhere near his um, valuation, so. We didn't bother. Uh, Joe Pereira comes in. He's wanted on loan, but I'm not going to send him out to loan because he's going to be our backup keeper this season. Hopefully, we'll get a little bit of experience, especially in the um, Carabao Cup, hopefully. So, anyway, enough talking. Let's get this game played and uh, let's welcome Derby to the Premiership in the only way we know how. At Old Trafford, let's knock a few in. Okay, Derby, 4-4-2. Okay, did quite defensive. They're at Old Trafford, so what would you expect, really? Uh, tell them they expected to prove a point today. Well, let's assertively say then. Teams should be winning this, no problem. Well, give them a little bit of a boost. We'll get this game on the way, Derby. Lawrence, so they have the ball first. But not for long. Rashford, oh, lovely start. Great ball to Icardi. A cut, and there we go. Icardi's off the mark. 1-0. He is um, um, pit to win the Golden Boot this season. We've managed to extend his uh, 
contract for another year, I think it is. So he's with us to 2025. That's a cracking goal. Wonderful stuff. Asensio to Herrera. Acardi. Oh, inside to Rashford. Oh, Martial. Ball back in. No. So with Rashford scoring a hat trick in the final, the Community Shield, um, I felt like I had to give him a start. Martial. Inside, who's there? It's Rashford that hits the upright. Wow. Shouldn't have missed it, really. Alaba heads it to Herrera. Come on, guys. We are attacking, are we not? I'm sure we are. Dembele cuts inside. He's going to find Herrera to Marshall. Cross. No. Well kicked out. I hope this isn't just another baller in 1 0. This is Derby. Come on. Derby in the Premiership, guys. So Derby come up. Forest go down. What a turn of events that was last season. Asensio out to Kimmich. Kimmich to Dembele. But Dembele with the cross. Who's that? Rashford. He's continuing his form. I think he was top goals, goals. I think he was top goal scorer for England in the European Championships as well. May I add, England won. Wow, that'll do. Sorry, I was just looking at West Brom. Um, gone into lead against United. That wasn't. Uh, wow, talking about throwing advantages away. Alaba to Martial Herrera. Asensio, they need players like this. That's what United need. Asensio, Icardi, to Rashford again. Still four in his form. Asensio, corner, into the middle. Nobody. Are we going to get there for Kimmich? Hold your line. Right. It must be corner. Asensio, anybody. And that's it. Umtiti gets his first goal for the club. And on his debut as well. What a way to introduce yourself on this stage. 3-0 up now. Oh, hits the post or off the player on the bar, on the line. But straight to him. Wonderful. Right, ball goes forward. Um, Titi clears it up. Asensio, um, quite, it's quite a comfortable game, this, it has to be said. Although that was a wayward pass. Delgado for Derby. Wayman. Okay, they're just playing with it. Oh, good interception by Alaba. Martial to Herrera to Asensio. Martial cuts inside, beautiful play to Carl Rashford. Oh, is it the post again? He's not having any luck at all, Rashford. Derby come away with it. Oh, they sprung the trap. Can we not get on there? Oh, good stop by Donnarama or Donnarumma. Or Donna. Right, Richie, come on then. Ball comes in, ball goes out. Is that another corner? It is. Richie again, I guess it is. Ball comes in. Are we going to head it away? We do. Edge of the box. All right, we're taking them away. That's right, up to their half, and they loft it back in. For a change, we're up on possession, which is a, which is a shock, I think. Um, prove a point. Go on, then. Kimmich, is that... Oh, I thought that might have been blown for a penalty, then. Herrera. Oh, what a strike. Herrera. 46 minutes in. That's outside the box. It has to be, hasn't it? Kimmich is there. Picks it up. Lobs it in. Header straight out. Well, well, on the edge of the box. 18. Delgado comes forward. Passes it to Wayman. Out wide to Richie. Oh. Well. That's not what we wanted, was it? That's just a mix-up at the back. I mean, we've got players at the back should have been dealt with off um Titi and Donnarama. Although, he did go on the floor. I did try and stop it, I guess. Asensio to Dembele. Cross comes in. Anybody. Penalty has to be. Cardi's brought down. So, come on then, Cardi. Your second goal of the game. And more than likely... Oh, wow. That's a poor penalty. It's a good stop by the goalie. He didn't even move for it, did he? Asensio gets tackled quite easily. We are on attacking still, so I don't understand why we've just suddenly stopped. Uh, free kick to Darby, to Ledley. Well, that's a poor ball. Dembele. Over the top to Rashford. Pass it into the box. You'd have done that. Pause again, make a substitution. We're going to bring on... We're going to have uh, Renato Sanchez come on for a bit. We're going to have a roaming playmaker. See what he can do. And then we're going to bring Savic in. 
and possibly Rashford can go out to the wing and then we're going to bring Lakaku on as well let's see what you can do incidentally James Wilson um, he's injured for three to four weeks so we can't even play him at the moment he did play in the friendlies so and he played really well until he got his injury so. but um, I'm quite impressed with him so far and he's, and he's scoring goals so it's more than I can ask for and especially if we're going to be playing two up front we need the players Pope with the goal kick been quite a boring second half really nothing's really happened and that's it, 4-1. So to say, that's a good performance, don't let it go to your heads. It's only Derby. Okay. So that puts us top of the table at the moment. Which is nice to see. United Hammer, yes we don't. Uh, Alaba close to triggering across. Classy Herrera. Herrera played well, he got a goal. And uh, well, you can have the plaudits for it then. We're going to leave it there, I think. And... Uh, We'll come back to the first game of the group stage, I think. We'll play a few games and see what happens. So, if you enjoyed that video, please pop a like on there. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Thank you.